All right, now we're doing 8Q, smallest unused ID. This is by Jotha, 90% of the people like it. Hey, awesome programmer. You've got much data to manage, and of course you use zero-based and non-negative IDs to make each data item unique. Therefore, you need a method which returns the smallest unused ID for your next new data item. Note, Given the excuse me, note the given array of used IDs may be unsorted. For test reasons, there may be duplicate IDs, but you don't have to find or remove them. Go on and code some pure awesomeness. All right, so let's set up over here, and for this one, we're going to be using sort, and we're going to be using um, reduce as well. And I'll show you what we're going to do specifically. First, we're going to uh, sort it from uh, in ascending order, and we're going to go say ID. So, pardon me. Let me tell you what sort is first. The sort method sorts the elements of an array in place, and returns the sorted array. The default the default sort order is ascending, built upon converting the elements into strings, then comparing their sequences to UTF-16 code unit values. Right, and uh, it cannot be guaranteed. It depends on the implementation. So, basically, what we're going to be using is this uh, arrow function right here, and I'll show you what's up. So, we're going to say IDs dot sort, and then we're going to do the a b as the arguments arrow function, and then we're going to say a minus b, and that always brings it into uh, it always puts it in ascending order. If it was b minus a, it would go uh, in descending order, right? So after that, we're going to do a reduce, and this is a little trick. Uh, the reduce method executes a user supply reducer callback function on each element of the array in order, passing in the return value from the calculation on the preceding element. Right. The final result, the final result of running the reducer across all elements of the array is a single value. Right. So usually we use this to do the sum of all elements in an array, but uh, this one. On this one, we're going to use it as more of a uh, more of a hack. All right, so let's do uh, reduce. And so we're going to do. Uh, let me show you the. Here's the syntax. We're going to use the previous current syntax, and we're also going to use the initial value as well. Okay, so we're going to say prev and cur. One second. All right, prev and cur and we're going to do the arrow and then after that we're going to say prev but instead of doing a plus cur we're going to say plus because we want to iterate through one at a time we're going to say plus and then inside parentheses when prev equals cur and then we're going to do initial value of zero now what what does that mean okay so as we know, truthy, we've got, we, when it comes to Booleans, uh, we've got truthy statements, we've got falsy statements, right? And what do truthy statements equal? I mean, falsy statements always equal zero. So that means the truthy statements usually equal one, right? So previous plus current is going to equal, if they're the same, one. So let's go, let's say this, all right? So let's say the initial value is zero, so previous is zero, and current would be zero too. So previous plus current equals zero, so that would be one. So the next number would be one. So previous is one, and previous and current, one plus one and then one. What am, I hope that makes sense. So the previous would be one, and then the current one we're on is one as well. So all the way up to 10, right? Or excuse me, all the way up to three. So we'd be at previous is three, current is three, and then we'd say previous plus one is four. And then the next one would be previous is four, but current would be five. So that's where it's at right there. That's where it would stop at would be the four. So let's let me just push test and see, check it out. And attempt it, and there we go, we do it again. And uh, hopefully this makes sense. Uh, 
it's hard to explain these complicated things. I'm not, I'm no Rhodes Scholar. But, uh, yeah, clearly it works. All right. Now we're going to submit it. I very much like this one. It was pretty challenging. My solutions, just me, best practices in my opinion, and we'll see you next time.